What's up YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth. Today is the beginning of a new week and I figured why not start the week off sharing a little bit more of my movie collection with you. So let's get to it. This is another section of my collection. As usual, I hope everybody out there is staying safe. Uh, all right, we're just going to get into it. First up is a couple movies that I just got. I uh, just bought this last week at FYE. This is Child's Play on Blu-ray. Got it for like $7. Everybody has seen Child's Play. I've never been the biggest Chucky fan in my life, to be honest with you. But um, I've said it on my channel multiple times. The guys that I do a live stream with have convinced me to give it another go. So I've started buying these up. So there's the original Child's Play. That same day, I also bought Child's Play 2 and Child's Play 3 on standard definition DVD. Uh, next up is the actual only Child's Play movie that I had prior to last week, and that is The Curse of Chucky. I thought that this was pretty good. I remember this being a decent movie. And at that time when I saw it, I don't know why I didn't follow through and buy any more. I just think that I thought that that looked good when it came out. I saw the trailer, figured I'd give it another shot. And for whatever reason, after that came out, this came out and I did not buy it. The Cult of Chucky. I have to assume that this is probably falls in line with The Curse of Chucky. Made the same, you know, reasonably close anyway. But you never know what horror movies. I mean, eventually, Chucky had a bride and Chucky had a baby. So you don't ever know where horror movies are going to go. All right, next up is the John Carpenter movie, Christine, based on Stephen King's novel, Possessed Car. This movie is really, really good. I really enjoyed this movie. Um, of a, there's a lot of Stephen King movies out there, like a lot of Stephen King movies out there. This is definitely one of my favorite of those. All right, next up is The Christmas Season Massacre. I tried to watch this movie, I think, two or three Christmases ago. I don't remember where I bought this. Uh, oh, yeah, I do, Sub Rosa Studios. There, I told you on another one of my uh, videos that if you see this to run, this is one of those movies I was talking about. I tried to watch this movie and it is basically unwatchable. If you ever see Sub Rosa Studios on a DVD, save your money. Next up is cannibal, Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground uh, Dwellers, Chud. I recently, well not so recently, I did a review of this on my channel a couple of months ago at the request of one of my, uh, one of the, my, somebody I know through Facebook. And this movie was, I found this movie to be barely watchable. I did not enjoy this at all. I know that these films have, there's another one, a second one called Bud the Chud or something. I don't remember exactly what it is. Somebody told me about it. There's zero possibility that I'll ever watch that movie in my life. Even if people request me to watch that movie, I won't watch that movie. The first movie convinced me that I have no reason whatsoever to see the second movie. All right, next up is The Church. This movie I found the first time that I ever went Dollar Tree hunting for movies. I came across this one. Got it for one buck, Bill Mosley's in it. That's all I needed to know. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. There's Bill. I haven't had a chance to watch this one yet, but that's actually one of the ones that did sound interesting to me. All right, next up we have Citadel. This one I know I have not seen. What does this say? Tommy Cowley lives in a quiet lives a quiet life in a decaying apartment complex with his very pregnant wife. The couple is attacked one day by a group of hooded young thugs after a shocking act of violence. Tommy is left to raise his newborn daughter alone. So, sounds like a violent movie. Uh so one of these days, I guess I'll get to that. Be totally honest with you, I forgot that I even had this movie. That's what happens. Way too many movies. All right, next up is Cloverfield. This is a, a giant monster movie. It takes place in New York City. I really enjoyed this movie quite a bit, to be honest with you. I liked this one a lot. I believe there were two more movies made after this. 
I wasn't crazy about the other two movies. Um, one was 10 Cloverfield Lane, which is right there. I wasn't real crazy about that one. I like that one more than the third one. Um, the third one premiered a couple years ago. I, I, it was after the Super Bowl, I think. Something like that. There was really no public knowledge of this movie. And then during the... I, I'm almost positive it was the Super Bowl. During the Super Bowl... Um, you know how the Super Bowl is famous for their commercials. I believe the Super Bowl aired a commercial for the third Cloverfield movie and said that it would be available immediately following the Super Bowl. And my wife and I watched it immediately following the Super Bowl, and neither one of us really cared for it. But the first Cloverfield movie is fantastic. I love it. I highly recommend it. Next up is Eli Roth's Clown. This movie was very, very cool. The dude uh, is stuck in a clown outfit. He can't get the clown outfit off. Clown is a story of a loving father who dons a clown outfit and makeup to perform at his son's sixth birthday, only to later discover that the costume, red nose and, red nose and wig included, will not come off, and his own personality changes in a horrific fashion. To break the curse of the evil outfit, the father must make grim choices with his own family facing danger. This was a cool movie. I mean, granted, if you're one of those people that has like a clown phobia, steer clear of that thing. It's it, The name says it all. If you don't like clowns, don't watch clowns. But that was a cool e Ro Eli Roth movie. I enjoyed it quite a bit. All right, next up I have Cockneys vs. Zombies. I just bought this movie. I uh, just talked about this movie in my last haul video. Uh, it s seems to be British humor mixed with zombies which is typically not something I like. I'm not the biggest comedy horror guy. Uh, and if you watch my channel, I'm sure you know that already. But for those of you who don't know that, I'm not the biggest horror comedy guy. There are a few exceptions, and I'm hoping that this will be one of them. I'm hoping that the British humor thing pushes it over the edge for me because I do like British humor. All right, next up is The Collector. This movie's fantastic. It is... It, uh, this guy breaks into houses. He's basically like a, a, a cat burglar, but when he goes into the house, he sets traps to kill the families in the house. It's really good, very twisted, very dark. It's got a very modern feel to it. Uh, very cyberpunk-esque, I guess, is the, way, the best way I could put it. A really good movie. I thought that this was an outstanding film. And that is followed up by the sequel called The Collection. This was also really good. It was not as good as the first one, in my opinion. I really wish we had a third one. And I think somebody on a, one of our live streams recently said that there was a third movie supposed to be coming, that there's one in the works or in plan, at least planned. So I would love to see that happen. I thought The Collector and The Collection were both great, and I will always be down to watch a third movie. Next up is The Conjuring Universe is now on its way, and that's just about the rest of this section. Yeah. <laughs> so, The Conjuring, Annabelle, The Conjuring 2, Annabelle Creation, The Nun, which in my opinion was the only dud in this entire franchise so far. I just did not care for this movie at all. Uh, the Curse of La Llorona, and Annabelle Comes Home. I have not seen The Curse of La Llorona yet, uh, but I have heard good things about that. We as a family really enjoy, well not my older son, my older son doesn't like horror movies. So when I refer to us as a family, when it comes to horror movies, he's just not included in that. <laughs> the, my younger son, my 12 year old, loved The Conjuring Universe, loved all of the movies, but he felt the same way I did about The, uh, the Nun. Just didn't like it. I know I've come across a couple people who just couldn't get into that movie. There was something missing. I just, I found it to be very boring. Um, but the rest of those movies are pretty darn good. Uh, and that is it. That was a pretty quick one this week with all those uh, Conjuring Universe movies. I don't need to go through that. I'd have to discuss the entire franchise. And that's for another video at another time. So I'm going to get out of here. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button. 
ring that notification bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Take care, everybody.